things have changed dramatically since COVID. Uh, so I think that's gonna be my wish, that this is the last of the worst lockdown that we need to go through. My 2020 holiday wish is that COVID will go away. It's gonna be all right, yeah, yeah. How can you tell? Yeah, yeah, I feel it in my heart. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Hey guys, it's Frankie Chenna from Toronto. I'm a small business owner, TV host, and my favorite thing about the holidays is presents. I think lockdown is really hard for everyone. We have to limit our personal interactions with our friends and family, but I think lockdown is especially hard for small businesses. At the end of the day, they have so many costs that are very, very difficult to recover during these really, really challenging times. And I got involved with this project because helping local businesses in a time that's so, so difficult for small local businesses means a lot to me and I think means a lot to the community. So thank you for your brilliant idea. Frankie, I am so excited to have you on board for this. You have no idea. I definitely couldn't have done any of this without you. I finally found the business that I'm going to help out. It's called, it's a cool name, it's called the Maker Bean Cafe. As you can guess, they are a cafe, so there's uh, coffee and pastries, but there's a lot more. They do 3D printing, laser cutting, they do workshops for kids, they do workshops for adults, they support their local community, local coffee, local pastries, they support women's shelters and sick kids. Honestly, they're just a really cute family business. A husband and wife, they just had a son during COVID, so I'm really excited to help them out, just do whatever I can to, to make their day a little bit better. Frankie, how are you? Good, good. I made it. I found the place. Maker Bean Cafe, it's a place where we want people to get creative over coffee. That's our tagline. And so Lorraine and I, we love being creative, we love making things, and we definitely love coffee. So we thought, let's create that environment. Let's create a space where you can come in, get a warm drink, and talk with people about a project and a technology that you've never had before. So like a lot of small businesses, we wanted to start small. We got an espresso machine, a laser cutter, and a 3D printer, and we brought them to different events to see is this even something people would want to do in their free time. The response was enormous. People loved the concept. As it turned out, the Ontario Science Centre caught wind of us. We opened a location inside the Science Centre. It was our first ever you know, more or less permanent spot. We were there for three years, unfortunately closed during COVID, but in between, we opened here at Dufferin and Bloor. When we first were in lockdown, uh, it was just Chris and I uh, working here every day. I was pregnant, so that, that was kind of interesting. Uh, when the baby came, we were lucky enough to have some of our old staff come back to cover for us, and we were doing takeout only. It was challenging because it's a lot of unknowns. Yes, when the lockdown first started, uh, absolute zero business for a company like the Maker Bean. We are an event business that's hospitality focused, and those two, I think, were among the two hardest hit in the industry. We had to move to more of an online model to be able to get our product out there. We were really grateful for the response from the community that moved online and started to buy things there. Um, it hasn't been too bad. It's been good. <laughs> Okay, Lorraine, I'm ready to work. You're ready? Got your uniform. I definitely tried to bring the Christmas spirit. I got to help them set up their Christmas tree. And again, the cool thing about the Maker Bean Cafe is that their Christmas tree has the ornaments that they make in shop. This season's greetings have been with the help of co-owner Lorraine. I actually got to see the template, cut some ornaments, take it out, string around the ornaments, package them because they were ready to be shipped off. You and me, can you hear the sleigh bells? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. I just felt like when I was with them, my imagination just kept getting riled up. I was thinking of gifts for my mom, gifts for my partner, gifts for my dog, and just different things I wanted to get people. So much better than the year before. So that was the tour. Oh no, oh no. There was one other part of the tour and it was me attempting to make latte art. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do something called a guided pour. So that's where I give you the cup and the pitcher. You hold it, I move your hands. Okay. Don't be nervous, you're good. Okay. 
He's nervous. We're good. I'm going to give that to you. You're going to start with your cup on a little bit of an angle like that. Mm -hmm. Small circular motions. Okay. Now raise the base. Yep, keep going. Okay, now bring your hand in like that. Oh, there and we there go. we go. Onto the floor she goes. There's your latte art. Hey. Very good. Minus the mess on the floor. <laughs> So as you guys know, I love giving gifts. So my favorite part of the experience was getting to give Chris, Lorraine, Lisa, and their newborn Felix special gifts. Give them something community driven and local because that's what their journey and their story is all about. It's about community. It's about people helping each other in different parts in the city of Toronto. So I decided to get them a gift card at a local grocery store. I mean, everyone needs groceries, as you know, Lara. Yes, Frankie, who doesn't love groceries for Christmas? I also decided to get Felix a little plush toy, just something cute and sweet for him to enjoy. Okay, you guys, I come bearing gifts. It was his first ever holiday gift. I also decided to get them their favorite cookies, something that we all bonded over. And there's more. Woo, carrot cake! So I really, really hope that they enjoyed the gifts. It looks like you had such an amazing time. I can only imagine that they had the best time ever with you and you got them the most exceptional gift if you ask me. It's been so great chatting with you guys. I'm sorry that I couldn't see you over the holidays, but I know that, you know, this is going to be a bonding moment we have for the rest of our lives, helping three local businesses in each of our cities. Honestly, it was more than I imagined. It was so rewarding. Like, I felt so happy and you could just see in their eyes that they were just genuinely happy. The last few days has been a great experience and I really think that Rosemond deserves the world. She just wants to be there for people. Happy holidays guys! I love you! Thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't have done this without you. Have a wonderful rest of your guys' holiday. And I will see you once lockdown ends. Please, please, please. Bye guys! Happy holidays! Happy holidays. Happy holidays.